Hi, this is Dima from Tipco Jaspersoft Support. Today I'd like to demonstrate how to design and use a custom routine with Jaspersoft ETL. So first of all, uh, routines are Java functions that are used to factorize your code. They let you optimize data processing and improve job capabilities. There are two types of routines, system and custom routines. System routines are talent implementation of common Java methods designed to help you work with numbers, strings and dates. While user or custom routines are routines that you have manually created to optimize your Java code in the ETL job. So now let's uh, have a closer look at both uh, system and user routines in one of the jobs. Here I'm doing the uh, full backup of uh, just report server repository and uh, t file fetch component is using the uh, get date methods from a talent date routine so this routine is accessible from routine system talent date file here's its syntax now let me demonstrate the use case for creating and using the custom routine. In my resource migration ETL job that is designed to do full Jasper server export, I have two, two REST components that use RESTv2 export endpoint. This export endpoint requires authorization and the thing is that authorization should be a base64 encoded string that will consist of username, colon, password. So right now, if I want to use an on-default uh, username password combination, I have to perform the base64 encoded manually, and then also add the basic plus uh, white space in front of the uh, encoded string. So I have decided to implement the custom base64 encode credentials a routine that will perform the encryption for me. Right, so I've created a new folder and then created a routine. So what I'm doing is uh, using base64 Java package here. My encode method it's doing the URL base64 encoding and I'm also adding this basic plus space in front of the encoded string. Now let me demonstrate the difference between the original version of resource migration job and the updated one where I'm using the custom base64 encode credentials routine. So as previously shown, I was using the authenticated encoded string over here. In this version, I'm using the username and password and I'm actually calling this encode method and passing the context username and context password parameters that I input during the job execution. Uh, just as a quick reminder to call your routines as well as uh, your custom routine, system routine as well as the context variable, just start to type in your keyword and then press control space if you're on Windows and this will show up you know your routine for example you could type contacts control plus space username comma context password all right so let me try to run this job using non-default super user credentials so I'm gonna be using just for admin from a newly created sales organization. See that the job is running and I'm doing the export of this, a full export of the sales organization using the just for admin. So I can see in the Tomcat log file that uh, export has been completed. That shows up in my job as well. Yeah, by the way, uh, you can enable export import login if you go to manage server settings, log settings, just search for 
important export activities class set it to debug then you'll see all the resources being exported in your tomcat catalina out or jasper server the log file okay so that is it for the scope of this video today we have learned how to work with routines both system and custom then we have created a custom routine that performed the base64 url encoded for jasper port server credentials using the rest api call thanks for your time